Good morning, y'all. Today is Saturday, and I am just getting this stuff out of Miss Charlene's van. So I need to take this around to my van. And I got some stuff in my van. I'm getting ready to do a subscriber haul video. So, I'm gonna walk this around in my van. I need to start my van. I didn't start it yesterday. Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. Today I'm going to be insulating my van. I have my Haverlock wool. I have my heat barrier, sound deadening protector. I got two forms of sound deadening. I got this right here. And I have this right here, the kill mats that are already on the wall. I ordered some more. And if you want to purchase some of these products for your van bill, the link is going to be in the description box below. So, I think I'm going to get started. And I don't know where to start at. But I think I'm going to get started. I could start stuffing. I don't know if I'm going to put the sound barrier up here. I need to get me a pair of scissors. So let me go to my van and get a pair of scissors. I did a haul video showing y'all everything that I got for the van. So today I am going to be insulating my van and I have several layers of protection to insulate the van. We have the kill mat and on top of the kill mat, I am going to be putting another heat radiant sound deadening barrier, which is gonna give us an extra level of protection. And on top of that, I will be placing some insulation. But first I am going to uh, do the kill mat everywhere in the van until I run out. And then I'm going to be put putting the heat radiant sound deadening protector i will have the links to everything in the description box below so you guys can check that out on top of that i am going to be using uh my insulation right now i am because it's getting dark and i want to work in the van after dark i'm putting up my homemade mosquito net i will be purchasing a mosquito net in the future for the van i have already purchased one uh, but we have to do a couple of DIY projects. But in the meantime and in the between time, I'm just using this netting to keep the bugs from coming in so I can work throughout the night. And as you see, it's going to get dark soon. I have my light on. So also, you guys, I had to purchase some of the adhesive spray to keep the Haverlock wool up uh, because you don't want the wool to collapse behind your wall. Uh, so I also have some clips holding it up as well and I'm spraying it on the heat barrier and then I'm going to just attach it up to the top of that spraying the, the side of the wool and also spraying uh, where I'm attaching it to and just making sure I rub it on so that won't fall. So I'm putting two rows of insulation uh, and so we're going to have several heat barrier protections to keep the heat out and the cold in and so i suggest that you do up here the adhesive on the back wasn't that good so i put some glue on here and as you can see it's still not staying so i'm going to take some of this uh heat barrier and put it on top and that should hold it. And I'm also gonna put a little adhesive 
on the back. And then I'm gonna take my insulation and spray this with some of the spray adhesive, then spray my insulation with the spray adhesive and put this up on, put the insulation up there. So that's what I'm working on right now. And that's what I'm about to do. So I just want to explain it to you guys what you're seeing. So because I'm going to be placing my insulation on top of the heat barrier, I am making some little cutouts. So my little uh, clamp things can stay on. And then as I stated, I'm going to be spraying some adhesive on the back of the insulation and on the heat barrier and i'm going to be making sure that's up there really well i eventually am going to put two layers of insulation but i wanted to stuff my holes at the top and i'm also putting the heat barrier up at the top on my ceiling as well now i want to also suggest to you guys that you use this heat barrier on your ceilings you can use two rows of this heat barrier apply two rows of this on your ceiling and you don't have to use any insulation if you don't want to i am going to use two of these rows of heat barrier and then after that i'm going to see if i want to do the foam insulation on top of that but i think two rows of that would really really give you a lot of protection you guys this heat barrier does um uh, help you not to have all that heat coming in the vehicle because your vehicle is metal it is gonna conduct the heat and it's gonna conduct the cold as you can see i also stuffed the top portion and i just used a whole roll of the batting double fold and put it in there so this will not sink as i'm driving you don't want to make it so thin that it's just going to sink and collapse down and your walls are actually not going to be protected so i wanted to stuff my walls really 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 tight and with the haverlock wool you don't have to worry about the wool losing its r value because you're stuffing it uh really 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 tight i really like working with the haverlock wool because it didn't have any fiberglass you didn't have to wear gloves you didn't have to wear long sleeve clothes it clothes you didn't have to worry about your skin itching so i really do highly recommend this in your van bill even though it's a bit expensive 150 dollars a box and the shipping and handling is also expensive on it as you can see i have this folded over twice just the way it came and i stuck a whole bat into each section this is giving me insurance that you know i'm gonna be warm in the i'm gonna be cooler in the summertime and warmer in the winter time uh so i highly suggest that you guys try this method of using the sound deadening then using the heat radiant and then doubling up your insulation especially if you have a ford transit because the ford transit vans walls are thicker to insulate you have more room to insulate so you want to make sure you're utilizing that and making sure your wall is going to be soundproof it's going to be protected from the heat and it's going to be able to keep the cool air in and the warm air in as well in the winter time i also want to let you guys know that it's very important to insulate your van well to begin with because once you put your walls up and once you build uh build out your van it's going to be harder for you to go back and to re-insulate so take your time do the insulation right spend the money that you need to spend on insulating your van properly from the beginning the things that matter the most in a van bill are the things that people do not see and that is insulating your van that is your wiring and your flooring and all of that insulating your floor so make sure you spend the money that you need to spend on insulating your van properly to begin with so you don't have to tear everything out and start over again which that's going to end up costing you more money 
if you guys want links to any of the products they will be in the description box below thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments bar below if it was helpful and if you have any additional questions leave them in the comments bar below i thank you guys so much for watching and i appreciate you watching my van bill and like i said if you want me to do a breakdown on how much the installation cost uh, just to insulate my van let me know and I will make a video letting you guys know the breakdown of the cost for uh, my Ford Transit I believe if you have a Ram you would take less insulation but I have a Ford Transit and I wanted to make sure that my van is going to be insulated very well so leave your comments down below and let me know if you want me to do a, pri a price breakdown on insulating my van. Thanks for watching. Bye now.